Hello and welcome. I'm Nomanis the Amethyst Archer. To get right into it, I found this post on Tumblr recently where this person discovered a fact I never noticed before and hadn't seen anywhere else. In season 3 episode 8, Benst, when Makak tries to take the wing of the Samadhi fire before Tang does, something interesting happens to say the least. In a single moment, the tip of Makak's tail turns white. This leads to the question, is Makak's fur actually white? A quick shout out to our happy girl 500 fan for discovering it. It's their theory I'm building on. I'm gonna discuss some of the things I mentioned in their post, but add some things on the way. So if you would like to see the post for yourself, you can find a link in the description. This theory is not confirmed in any way. I'm gonna share the possibilities and things that may point towards the truth with you. And now to the question on everybody's mind, at least mine's. <laughs> Is Macaque's fur actually white? And if he is hiding it, why didn't it show when we saw his scar in Blind Eye in Season 1, Episode 9? Which we know for a fact he is hiding with magic. You may be thinking it could be an animation error or something with the lighting, but I really don't think it's either of those. It would be a pretty big coloring mistake that you would think the animators would have noticed while they were drawing the details. Yes, it's only shown in a few seconds, but they draw every second with details. I mean, every second is a whole painting for them. And about the lighting, look at that certain shift of colors. Even at a place, they don't usually shift the colors like that because of light. And then the lighting in the overall picture. I mean, when you take a look at this picture from right before, and compare it to this one again, you can see what I mean. Here it's probably the lighting, but here it wouldn't make sense. With that said, let's continue. The possibility that he could have white fur isn't only coming from this moment, since we have seen him with white fur before. In the Monkey King 29 series, he is depicted with a white shaded fur. So it is possible that Monkey Kid could have taken inspiration from this. But we only saw his scar in Blind Eye in season 1, which leaves us with some questions. A possible answer could be that Macaque in Monkey Kid is using multiple layers of glamour. There has been some debate as to why he would have multiple layers. Why not just cover it up in one whole layer? Six years and all included. Well, this comment from the post got me thinking. Maybe it's working more like his glamour is affected by how much magic he uses or how little. When you look at episode 9 from season 1, we first see both his scar and blind eye, but afterward we only see the scar. The eye is colored again. And then when we see him again, they are both gone. Almost like it was slowly fading away after being shown. Well, maybe they just forgot to draw the blind eye. You can point out that in the flashback, Lady Bone Demon is showing Macaque. And um, we also only see his scar, while his eye is just fine. But if we take the eye and the scar for themselves, and thereby these four things as an example, blind eye, scar, six years, and white fur, then I imagine if he uses magic to hide all of these things, the scar would take the least magic to hide, and therefore be the first thing we see if he loses hold of a bit of the glamour for a moment. I mean, we never saw his face the moment his tail turned white. The scar and blind eye could have been visible there too, and I wouldn't be surprised if yeah, the blind eye is the next easiest to hide. Though it's also a possibility that he knowingly revealed his scar and blind eye to MK, and only his scar and blind eye, in order to scare MK, or at least give him a shock, considering the moment it was shown. Looking at this, the two times we may have seen his glamour fade were kind of a parallel. In the first one, he was in full control, taking Monkey King's power from MK, therefore I think it's likely he revealed it knowingly. While in the second one, he was not in control. First, he was in pain because of Pixie's singing, the scene may have been referring to his six years, or at least extremely good hearing. Then afterward he tries to attack Tang, but is blown back by this power he probably hadn't seen co coming. It is at this moment some of his tail turned white. That seems kinda like the situation where you would lose control of something. Again, this is not confirmed, but possibilities. Moving on to the next question. Could it have been caused by the Lady Bone Demon, since when the little girl was possessed by the Lady Bone Demon, she got red stripes in her hair? I don't think that's likely, and here's why. 
The moment is told to and white was before Albedi lent him some of her powers. So it's definitely not because of that. Some may say he was already controlled by her before that, but I'm willing to say that's really not likely. Well, yes, he was forced by her in a way, but not controlled with magic like Wukong. Rather, she influenced him to do as she said. And at the moment, he had no choice but to do as she said. One moment that proves this point is when Macaque discovers that MK's team is looking for this mighty fire, which is able to defeat her. He decides to try and take it in order to get as far away from her as possible. It's a mighty fire, huh? So that's how you're gonna beat the Lady Bone Demon. One misstep, one failure in any way. I will erase the very memory of you. We'll see about that. Well, humanity's just gonna have to find something else. The Samadhi fire is my best chance of getting as far away from her as possible. Yes, he had met the Lady Bone Demon before all of this. She even saved him from the underworld. But as far as I know, his outside look didn't change because of that. And if his look didn't change back then, why would it now? Wukong's colors didn't even change that much when he was possessed with magic. Only the little girl's hair color did, and in her case, Elbidi herself was inside of her. So why in the world would Makesh fear become white because of Elbidi when he wasn't even possessed? If you want to hear more about this, I recommend watching this video, where I go more into details about it. And while we at it, please remember to leave a like if you're enjoying the context so far. So, if Makesh really has white fur and six years, why didn't it show in the flashback we saw of him and Wukong? Well, this is just speculation, but looking at the flashback LBD showed Macaque, the flashback that shows Macaque and Wukong after the friendship ended, or oh, well, white red ended, I would really like to see more of this in the next season. I mean, yeah, I know Wukong can be pretty selfish, but will he just kill a former friend without any questions? There must have been more to it. Ahem, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, that is all this shows. It doesn't show them while they were still friends. The only flashback we see of them while they are still friends is the shadow play, which, as the name says, only shows shadows and silhouettes. It doesn't show any colors. So maybe his real color changed to begin with because of the betrayal. Before this, he had white fur, but for some reason decided to change his look. Maybe it reminded him too much of his old life. Or maybe he isn't covering it himself. But in connection to the betrayal, it somehow changed itself. Maybe it could work like he didn't always have shadow powers, but somehow got them, and then his white fear became black because of, yeah, shadow powers. I mean, technically it would make sense for shadow powers to color something to a darker color. In season 2, episode 9, Shadow Play. One time the shadow play is showing the warrior, Macaque, being consumed by these shadows. And in the flashback, where he and Wukong fought, he is also surrounded by these shadows, especially in the second photo. I mean, maybe it's a bit of a stretch. It could just be how they choose to draw his defeat, and the scene in the shadow play could just have a symbolic meaning. But if his fur did indeed become black because he got shadow powers, this would mean he isn't hiding his right fur color himself with his powers, but it's covered by the shadow powers themselves. And if that's the case, then I start wondering, why did it show in this situation where he lost control? If he isn't hiding it himself, why would it matter if he had control or not? Maybe it wasn't actually because he didn't have any control, but rather because of something else. Something that was only present in this scene, which could be Tang's powers or Pixie's singing. It was when a blast from Pixie's singing reached the lantern, some of Macaque's tail became white. But if it was Pixie's singing, it would make more sense that Macaque lost control or focused for a moment, rather than the singing itself affecting his glamour. Unless the singing in itself actually were magical, but as far as I know it wasn't magical, just really loud. Whereas in Tang's case, we have more options. Because we don't really know what his powers can do yet. So his powers could have affected Macaque's glamour or shadow powers somehow thereby removing the black color in a way none of the other powers Macaque has faced before has done so, at least in the series here. I mean, there has been other situations where Macaque seemed to have lost control, and it would seem like a good time to lose hold of an illusion, if that is indeed how the glamour works. 
but still, as far as I know, this is the only time his fur became white. So it doesn't make more sense. It would be something like Tang's powers that would have affected his glamour. It would explain why this is the only time his fur color changed, because this was the only time he confronted Tang's powers. No matter if he's hiding his true fur color himself, or it's being covered by something else, this was the only time the glamour faded, as far as I know. So I think it's more likely his glamour faded not because he lost control, but because it was affected by something else. And yeah, my best idea as to what that could be is, as I said, Tang's powers. That probably even is connected to the Great Monk in some way. If you're interested in this topic, every sketch uploaded a video about it. I will leave a link in the description. We still have the question about his six ears, blind eye and scar. I still think he's covering the scar and blind eye himself looking at season 1 episode 9 in Mechic. And he's probably also hiding his six ears himself. And must have been doing that for a long time. Because in the shadow play we clearly see he only has one pair of ears. But then again, the shadow play was created controlled by Macaque himself. He could easily have altered it with if there was something he didn't want MK to see. I just don't know why he wouldn't want MK or anyone else to see he has six years. A completely different possibility is that he got black fear after he died, or at least when he was brought back. That could probably affect you in some way, but this possibility doesn't add up. It doesn't explain why he had black fur in the moments before he died. As you can hear, there are many possibilities, but sadly I don't have any solid proof for any of them. But if you know something I missed, have an idea as to why or how he would have white fur in six years, or why he would not, maybe even some proofs, I would really love to hear it. Right now the possibility is that he, or something else, is hiding four things. His scar, blind eye, his six ears, and white fur color. That's all I got for now. I hope you found what you were looking for in the video. And please remember to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Until next time.